Kia ora, ko dia ho, haro mai, welcome to Homemade Let's Cook. It's dinner for one tonight and we are making a Mediterranean style meatloaf recipe. So we're probably going to make two portions, so it's going to last for two nights. So I've pre-prepared our potato because we're having a potato top on our meatloaf. So I've just used one large potato and I've cut that into small pieces popped it on the stove to cook until the potatoes are soft and then I have mashed them up with a masher or you could use a fork if you don't have a masher. Now into that we're going to put half an egg. Now you'll say well that's a little bit difficult but we've whisked up a whole egg and we're going to use half of it for the top and half of it for the mince. And the reason we're using egg is that this recipe is also going to be dairy free which is fantastic news so okay it's a little bit tricky getting half an egg out of the whole egg but i'm sure you'll do a great job so just um give that a stir and then we'll have that ready to put on top so I'll just set that aside and it's still got the coaster underneath it because it's still a little bit warm all right, and I've got my ramekins here pre-prepared as well. I've just got a little bit of baking paper on the bottom of those and grease them as you wish. Obviously, if you're making your meatloaf dairy-free, you probably just want to use some canola oil around the outsides. So I've got 200 grams of mince, or you could use 200 grams of a beef and pork combination if you wanted to. And into that, we've got lots of things to put. So, I'm starting off with a quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs. Now, I've got a combination of regular whole grain breadcrumbs and some panko breadcrumbs, but just normal breadcrumbs or breadcrumbs made from bread, would, fresh bread would just be fine as well. Of course, we're gonna put in the rest of that egg. So that's the rest of the half an egg used. Then I'm going to put in some peas. I like to have peas in a meatloaf. It's probably not that Mediterranean, but they go in anyway. And some carrot, and that's grated carrot. And I've got um, just the end of a, of a small carrot, but it ends up making about a quarter of a third of a cup once it's grated. Then I'm using some fresh tomato that sun-dried tomato is just perfect obviously mediterranean style but if you don't have sun-dried tomatoes just use some regular tomato that's fine as well then i've finely diced some kalamata olives so in they go we've got about a oh and there's about a tablespoon of them then we've got another tablespoon of feta cheese, just crumbled or in pieces, that's up to you. Then also adding in about a quarter of an onion and that I have fried on the stove top. So just give it a light fry. Uh, you could grate the onion if you can, otherwise finely dice it and then as I say, fry it on the stove. Doesn't take very long to fry up and then that goes as well. It's just in preference to using raw onion in your mixture and it gives it a lot more flavor as well. Then I'm going to add in one, um, this is a, a heaped dessert spoon of tomato paste. I'm gonna give that a really, really good stir around. We haven't done any seasoning yet, but we're about to. And that's definitely enough to make two meals for one. All right, so we're going to put in some oregano. Just a good shake there. Some salt. And while we're doing the salt and pepper, also going to put that in our potato mixture. And our pepper goes in. 
and then let's give both of them a good stir. Now the oven is on, of course. And the cooking time is about 40 minutes. Time to bring our ramekins in. So I'm going to divide this mixture in half. Press it down nice and firmly. Of course, if you had a um, larger container as well, you could use that. A nice little square one would be fantastic. But I've got these ramekins. And look, if you're not um, a big eater, you know how much you eat, you could put this in three ramekins if you wanted to, if you only want smaller servings. But these should adequately feed well. And of course, there's nothing wrong with making one of them larger than the other. it down. Now because uh, we're making these dairy free we're not going to put any cheese on the top. Okay, so you can see they're nice and flat on the top and then we're just going to top so half of it, half of the potato in one, half of the potato in the other and that's filled them beautifully and then I'm just going to get a fork just to press those down I'm going to make some little little peaks on top as well Make some attractive little waves or peaks, and they should brown off nicely as well. As I say, into the oven around 40 minutes, or they might cook a little bit quicker than that. Um, so, have a look at them after about half an hour. And I'll see you after they come out. When your loaves are golden brown on top, it's a perfect time for them to come out. And if you're like me, you'll probably want to serve them with lashings of tomato sauce. Don't be afraid if anyone asks for that. I hope you'll enjoy them. Thanks for joining me for Homemade Let's Cook. Please join me again. Kakite.